Hey everybody, I Lord Tamerlane with another Obscurity in Miniature. We're back to the other side. Weird's new mass combat game with the Marauder, which is a nice looking pre-assembled uh, giant motorcycle with a Gatling gun on top. Interesting. Uh, all you Orc fans out there for 40k, take note, this might be a fun one to try to convert. I'm going to pop this box open and let's take a look at what's inside. Behold, the contents of said box. <laughs> well, usually we like our cards nice and straight, but in this case, well, it's a limited edition one. So here's the model in question. Now, first things first, this is pre-built, and it's in that bendy, board gamey plastic stuff. Look at that. So if that bothers you, stay very far away from this. This radial worries me immensely because, number one, it's not straight. It's all kinds of warped, and number two, it's super duper thin. Despite that, it is a pretty cool model, and you can see there is still quite a bit of detail in the piece. Now, it is pre-built. Keep that in mind. Trying to yank these drivers and gunners out of here, that might be a challenge. Now, some of you might be up to that challenge. Me, not so much these days. I'm like, I will just take it as is, and we will try to work with it. On the other hand, I've been trying to just do very simple paint jobs for the other side stuff that I've purchased so far. So, you know, it's not going to be like a Golden Demon Crystal Brush award winning piece, but, you know, it is what it is. So it comes with an 80 millimeter base. This is thicker. I don't know what the differentiation is. Some of the figures I've got have really thick bases like this, some have really thin and flat ones. Like, we'll grab our little. Stripe Skulker here, you'll notice his base is kind of thin, whereas I have other ones that are not so thin. So just to give you a sense of scale with how the game is going to look, let's see if I can grab somebody. Here is a typical Malifaux gentleman. And you can see how big the car, car. the bike is going to be. Vehicle? Maybe would be the better word. Let's see if I have another side figure. Ah, here we have an ECB agent, Black Ops agent. So again, this is on an 80 millimeter base. The figures look relatively in scale. I'm assuming since everything is all, what is it, computer sculpted anyways, digitally sculpted, it shouldn't pose to me much of an issue like the older Malifaux figures where we have like the one giant guy in the set. Um, I have no idea how it plays. Hopefully we're going to learn it. Looks like I'm probably going to be picking up a lot of Abyssinia stuff because who doesn't like a bunch of Wakandan style high tech African super soldiers with all kinds of mechanized infantry. I like that. So hopefully we'll see more of them too. We'll toss a space marine in there just to give you an idea. So if you wanted to hypothetically rip these guys out and attempt to put some orcs in there, it might work. I could see it working. I could see also if you want to do a swap job on this gun, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I am not even going to attempt it. It's just not worth it. I'm also thinking I'm probably going to have to pin this thing to the base just to get it stable. Because otherwise, you know, it's going to be like, actually, that might look kind of cool with it tilted to the side. I don't know. Not a big fan of the flames shooting out of the barrel, but that looks like it could easily be removed. Overall, not a bad looking kit. Now, the price is a little bit higher than I would have liked to have seen initially, but I think as these things start to make their way out into the public more readily, we might see the prices come down a bit as the typical eBay discounters start to get their grubby paws on it. And by all means, get your grubby paws on this stuff, gentlemen, because I'd like to see the game come down in price. Let's get those discounts going. Not too heavy because I do want to see the game succeed and flourish and have new stuff come out and maybe even play it that'd be fun wouldn't it what else was i going to say about this thing i was going to say something else what else was i going to say i don't remember now hmm well if it comes back to me i'll just stick it in the comments there anyway cool kit decent size a little bit pricey possible use in 40k maybe post-apocalyptic possibly as uh, some kind of a use with the Wild Ones crew, the Nightmare crew from LFO. I'm already trying to figure out how I could do that. I don't think that's going to work, but, you know, we can all dream. With that said, we'll just clear these guys off and give you guys one quick look again at what this sucker is. And 
we will bid you a fond farewell. This has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying pew, 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 pew. Bye-bye.